Let's do our warm ups and see where we go. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, ribs in and up, and shoulders back and down. Reach your crown to the ceiling and spread your toes out. And just take a moment to focus inward, getting your yoga perspective. Exhale any tension. Dismiss any thoughts outside of the room. And as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your chest. Inhale out to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you, just gently fingers interlaced as you push them down and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, nice little upper body back bend, and stretch the spine as you exhale and come on over. Lift your sitting bones, get the legs stretching. <clears throat> Move your chin. Release any tension in your neck. And then bend your knees and work your way back all the way to the top. Chest high, shoulders down, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright and release. Feel your spine getting more activated and we'll continue. Arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift them one position over. Spread your toes, lift your heart, stretch your spine, and then pivot on over. Deepen as far as you'd like, lifting through the sitting bones, stretching the whole back of your body, and work your way back up. Bottom of the spine, winding all the way to the top as you come into another back bend. Stretch your head away, drop the shoulders, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment again, noticing your body responding. Side stretches next, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, and then clasp them above your head. Bring the arms next to your ears, shoulders down, sitting bones down, crown high, and lean to the side, no twist. So make sure that your shoulders and hips face the front. Push out through your hands and head, down into the foot you're leaning away from. Feel the ribs stretch apart. And then inhale back to the center, keep the shoulders down, switch the other hand to the front, and again, arms by your ears. Stretch everything and lean to the other side. And again, maximize for your body, doing what's right for your whole side to stretch. And then inhale back upright and release. Feel your body once more and get ready for our twists. So remember, base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart so they can move into the twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders, past your elbows. Stretch the spine apart and turn to one side. Take a breath, exhale over. And just relax as you get into that position, lifting your sitting bones, keeping your arms by your ears and the weight on both feet. And then slowly in the twist, work your way up. And remember, always only the upper body goes into the back bend while you're twisting. Never overwork your low back. Elbows back, chest high. Take a breath. And then on an inhalation, come up and exhale around to the center. And again, switching your arms, balancing things out, stretch apart and turn to the other side. The breath in and then pivot over. And just relax as you get into that pivot and lift your hips. Take a moment and breathe, relax your shoulders and stay in the twist with the weight on both feet as you come back up and lift your heart. And again, elbows are back, arms are by your ears, and you're lifting your heart. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, shoulders down, fingertips high. Coming into extended mountain, just sink evenly into your feet. Take a moment there, just stretching everything. Shoulders down, sitting bones down, and crown stretching up. 
Exhale, pivot at your hips, come forward, stretch it out flat, and then drop into Rive Doll. Lift your hips and relax, hands to the floor, or as far down as they go. Pull in deep if you like, <clears throat> hands behind your legs. Let that back stretch even more. And then arms to the front. And wind your way one more time from the bottom of the spine, back up into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe. Just feeling that spine more activated, step wide. And toes to the front, knees also, hips open, sitting bones down, and bring your arms up to shoulder level. Palms toward the floor. Let's just do our fixed wing air crest. So keep the arms right across from each other and tip to the side. The hand doesn't need to go to the leg. And then back up. Shoulders are down, both of them. Tip to the other side. Keep those arms as much across from each other, stretching the pose as you can. And back to the center. And then palms up, overhead and to your heart. Take a moment there and release. Relax your shoulders, spread your toes, sink your sitting bones, bring your arms again to shoulder level. Take a moment and breathe and we'll turn our feet for our triangle this time. So turn one foot all the way to the side but not your hips or shoulders and then heel back, toes forward on the foot behind you, palms to the front, and just pivot, and again, arms right across from each other. Hand doesn't need to get anywhere near the leg, it's okay. Just stretch those hands apart. Keep the hips open along with the heart, and pivot back up, palms toward the floor, feet to the front, and again, keep the shoulders down, we'll go the other way. Turn the foot, heel back, toes forward, but remember, you're not turning your body, it's still facing forward. Palms to the front and pivot. And again, just bring that arm as far as it wants toward the leg, but it doesn't have to go all the way down. Just stretch them apart across from each other. And pivot up. Palms to the floor, feet to the front, star position, stretch it out and release. And we'll do our final version of the try. No, let's do two more. We'll do the final regular version of the triangle with the pivot at the hip. So remember when we move, we're moving from this hip joint and getting as far toward the side as we can before we pivot. Then your hand will go firm. So again, hips open, feet evenly supporting you. Relax those shoulders down, arms at shoulder width. Take a breath, pivot your feet. So one goes all the way to the side. So the edge of the foot is basically at the side of the mat and the other 90 or 35 degrees, I guess that is. So the knee and the toes, remember, always go the same direction. Hip joint, use that as your focus as you push to the side as far as you can. Palms to the front and then pivot. And your hand will come further towards your foot or the leg or the floor. Other arm straight above, stretch it out, keep that spine nice and open, stretching the head and hips opposite. Take a breath, just relaxing, knees straight, both of them, and don't forget to breathe. And then pivot back up, palms toward the floor, feet to the front, and of course we'll go the other way. Turn your foot, other foot also, but not your hips or your shoulders. And again, get that hip joint as your focus. Push to the side as far as you can. Palms to the front. And again, pivot it one up and one down. The whole body is facing the front. The legs are straight. The arms are stretching apart. The head is stretching to the side. And don't forget to breathe. Keep that top hip back, making sure the hips are even along with the shoulders. And then pivot back up, palms to the floor, feet to the front, stretch your star, and release. 
Take a moment, just breathing, feeling all that energy moving through your midsection, through your shoulders, through your hips. And we're going to do another version. This one's the rotated or revolved triangle, which means that you're going to end up looking to the back. So we're pivoting the whole body as we do this one. Starting the same way we did in a regular triangle, and then we'll walk you through the pivot. So feet are to the front, hips are open, shoulders relaxing, and bring your arms again to shoulder level. Turn your feet, one to the side, the other one angled. Keep those back hips back. Keep that front hip as your focus as you pivot out. Push it out. Palms to the front and coming into your regular triangle. You can stay there or you can go into the rotation. So bring your arms parallel to the floor as you look toward that front foot. Spread your toes out. Stretch out hips and crown away from each other. And then keep rotating, bringing the front hand down and the other hand right above it. And again, you can bring the hand to the foot or the floor or the leg, or not always, only pivoting as much into that twist as you want. So remember, really stretch your spine apart for the twist. Take a breath. <clears throat> And then exhale, pivoting back parallel to the floor, and then all the way into your regular triangle. Stretch down, and then lead with the hand in the air again, pivoting back up, and turn to the center. And go ahead and release for a moment, just taking a break before we do the second side. So same thing, <clears throat> getting that twist as we're in our triangle. So remember, as much as you can, keep that spine stretching apart. It makes it easier to twist. Once again, let's bring the arms to shoulder level. Foot to the side, heel back, toes forward, those hips even, and everything facing front. Push to the side as far as you can go, palms to the front, and pivot one hand down and the other one up. And again, as much into that side stretch as you want. And then pivoting, looking at the floor, get your whole body spreading out through the toes and both hips as parallel as you can, stretching those arms out and the spine open to continue the twist as you bring the hand in front down and the other one up. Take a breath, stretch it out. Feel that twist as much as your body wants. Your hand doesn't need to be near your leg or the floor. The other one just straight across from you. Knees are straight. Don't forget to breathe. And then again, pivot back parallel to the floor. Straighten it out and return to triangle. Take a moment there. And again, come on back up. Palms to the floor, feet to the front. And release. Take a moment and breathe and step into mountain pose. As you get back into your position, just take a moment feeling that spine, your hips may be a little bit more open, your shoulders may be a little bit more worked, and just notice how your body is responding to the hands to your heart. Inhale, bring your hands toward the ceiling. Come into your back bend, thumbs behind you, lifting your heart. Stretch your head with that spine stretching apart, even in the back bend. And then exhale, pivot on the hands to your heart, pivot at the hips, drop down all the way to the floor. Slide your hands up under your knees or halfway up, stretch, and stretch things out. And then exhaling, let's go to the floor, sinking down onto your feet, hands next to your feet, palms up, and forehead toward the mat. Take a moment and breathe and just feel that back of your body getting a good stretch, those hips a nice release, and don't forget to relax and breathe. And then inhaling, let's sit up, 
And come into staff position. So as you get into staff position, knees up, toes up, pushing out through your heels. Keep those sitting bones slightly behind you or elevated on that pad or blanket if that helps you. Shoulders relaxing, crown to the ceiling. Let's bring one foot to the inner thigh and work your hip joint a little bit more. So knee out to the side and then that front knee bends to the front and this hip is slightly up. The heel is not under it. We're going to go and do our diving dolphin. Stretch up through the spine. Exhale, turn to that first knee. Hands on your leg or the floor, ribs in, then round forward. Tuck your chin slightly as you bring your forehead down toward the knee as you exhale. And then rotate your face forward and lift your heart coming back. So just feel your spine going through its range of motion as you exhale down and inhale up and a little back bend. So it's a forward bend, stretching your spine open across the back and then opening across the heart and chest as you come back up. And just feel the whole body and let it go through its range of motion and breath. As we come up again, just pause at the top, exhale around to the center, and release your legs. So take a moment, get those sitting bones even, and heels pressing out, crown high. Bring your opposite foot to the inner thigh, knee out to the side, and heel back near your hip, not under it, so that that whole body can turn into the twist. So stretch up, <clears throat> Spine open, exhale, turn toward that knee bend. Ribs in, hands on the floor or your leg, and tuck your chin as you dive your forehead toward the knee. And then face to the front, coming up as you lift your heart to the sky. And again, you're the dolphin. Exhale on the way down under the water. Inhale, coming up to the side of the sky. And feel your whole spine work as you go through your breath pace and your range of motion for your spine. And again, the next time you come up, just pause at the top and release your legs after you turn the center, of course. Take a moment and breathe. Feel your spine more activated. And don't forget to breathe. Now let's come onto our hands and knees. So remember, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Not a lot of pressure in your hands necessary because we're just going to go into pigeon. So ribs are up, supporting your lower back. Knees are under your hips. Toes straight back. We're going to bring the right knee between the hands and slide the left leg back. So you're stretching the hip flexor on the right leg. And we're gonna move the knee over to the side and bring the heel further up toward shin perpendicular to your body as much as it wants to go with that knee going as far off to the side of the mat or over as it needs to, letting the hips sink straight down. And again, a little back bend, bringing the chest forward and the crown high. Press as much into the hands. Remember, you can be on your fists if you prefer so that those wrists aren't working. Or you can slide your arms forward or arms down to the floor, getting a little bit less stress and strain in that low back. So chest forward, whichever position you're in, crown reaching toward the ceiling. And just let the hips sink evenly down toward the floor. Shoulders relax, not a lot of pressure in your hands. And don't forget to breathe. Exhale and relax. If you're still on your forearms, come on back up. And then press gently into your hands as you slide the front knee back and the back knee up. And go ahead all the way into extended child pose, stretching those arms out to the front. If you like, you can bring your forehead all the way down into wisdom pose, touch the floor. Take a moment and breathe. <clears throat> and 
then inhaling, come on back up onto your hands and knees, and we'll pigeon with the other side. So left knee forward between the hands, right leg sliding back. Take the left knee over to the left, as far up to the side as you can, and pull that foot up as much as it wants to go. Again, sink the hips evenly toward the floor. Chest forward, crown to the ceiling, drop those shoulder blades toward your waist. And again, just relax into your pigeon pose in this position. Or you can come onto your fists if you want less work in your wrists. Or again, you can slide forward and get a little lower version. Sink those hips more to the floor if you do that. Exhale, chest forward, crown high, whichever version you're preferring. Just maximize that upper body back bend for yourself and let those hips go as far toward the floor as they like to go. Take a breath. And remember, you can have this left knee way over to the left side if that's helping you position for that hip rotator from the front. And again, if you're on your forearms, come on back up. Stretch chest forward, crown high, chin slightly in, stretch the whole back of your body, press gently into your hands, and the knees come back into table, and then stretch into child pose. And then inhale, coming up, slide up, and bring your feet all the way to the end of the mat. Take a moment and breathe. <clears throat> And roll down slowly. So activate that core as you come slowly down to your low back, your ribs, your shoulder blades, and your shoulders. Head to the floor. Just take a moment, relax it. And we'll do one more twist. So bring your arms to T position, palms up. Feet hip width apart, sitting bones slightly toward your heels. Bend your right leg and put the foot on the left thigh. We'll roll all the way over to the left side. Head on the floor as you go. <clears throat> Use a pillow if you need to. Hold your knee on the floor for that low back twist and bring your right hand to the ceiling. Keep the palm open right at his shoulder level as you lower it behind you and look toward the right hand. So the knee stays down as much as you can. Lower back twist, pad if you need to. And let the hand come as far as gravity wants to bring you. Turn your head, neck area twist again. What's right for your body, your neck. Exhale any tension. Just let it release and relax. <coughs> Sorry. The more you exhale, the more you'll get that spine releasing and deepening your twist as your body is ready. Take a moment and breathe, just relaxing. And of course, to release, just let go of your knee, rolling onto your back, and slide that foot near the other one. Feel all that twist energy, and realize that, yes, we need to balance the body and twist the opposite direction. So again, sitting bones toward your heels, bend your leg, left leg, and roll to the right side. And again, head stays on the floor. Don't overwork your neck. Hands together, knee down. Hold the knee as much as you can on the floor for this version of the twist. Hand up above your shoulder, left hand going back right at shoulder level so it doesn't go toward your foot or your head, but straight back so that chest and heart area open into the twist. Head turning, neck area twist, only as much as your neck is willing to do. And don't forget to breathe. And you can always pad if you need to, where you need to. Take a moment, breathing, just relaxing into your twist, letting it happen. Never force your twist, just breathe into it. Exhale tension, let that arm go further toward the floor. It may not make it, that's okay. Take a breath, just so that everything to release and relax. And of course, you can hold the twist longer on your own, but for now, 
Just go ahead and release that leg, roll onto your back, slide the foot down into, teeth, into corpse position for our final relaxation. Shoulders down, just let the spine be its natural curve, toes toward each other, let the legs completely relax. Move your head side to side, release that neck, and just let the shoulders and your whole body grow heavy and sink into that surface beneath you. Deepen your breath, deepen the earthbound connection, and let your body go. As you relax completely, just allow your awareness of your body to release from your attention and allow any other thoughts coming to you to release as well. <clears throat> just forget the past, no need to anticipate the future, just thoughts flowing in and out without attention. And as you breathe, just focus inward, finding that peace within, filling your body with peace, and your mind with peace, taking a few moments being peace. And of course, if you have time to keep relaxing today, just relax as long as you have time. If it's time <clears throat> to get ready for the rest of your day, begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin stretching your body gently, however it feels right for you today. And when you're ready, <clears throat> For your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready. For the rest of your day today. Thanks for joining me.